Hey everyone, Jordan here from Cinelinks.com. I'm back today and we're going to be looking at an all new drawing tablet. Now I've looked at a number of creative tablets over the years, but today's going to be a little bit different as I'm going to be looking at XP Pen 2nd Edition 22 model tablet. Now, considering I've only ever used Wacom tablets in the past, I'm very eager to see what their biggest competitor has to offer. So let's go ahead and open this up and get to drawing. If you haven't heard of XP Pen just yet, don't worry, you're probably not alone. It's a newer company starting back in 2005 and was only in Japan for several years. Now, it didn't make its way here to the West until about 2015. But in that very short amount of time, they've really started to make a name for themselves and become one of Wacom's biggest competitors when it comes to the drawing tablets. Thankfully, the company was kind enough to send me their really uh, massive 22 inch model here uh, which is the second generation one right off the bat there's a few things that really stand out to me about this XP pen tablet first is just all the stuff that comes with it right out of the box uh, you have pretty much everything you need and I'm not just talking about uh, the cables and stuff although it does include all the cables you need and yeah, it even comes with this swanky artist glove here. Now this is a small thing, and it's not very expensive to get one on your own, but it's neat that it's included because it, it really goes to that, that effort of they include everything that you need to get started with drawing. Now, secondly, as you can tell, this is a massive tablet coming in at 21.5 inches. It's really big and, and goes to the other point. Now, a Wacom tablet at this scale would cost you around $1,300 at the least, whereas this will come in around $500. So we're talking less than half the price of a Wacom tablet here. And it includes the stand built into it. And I love it because it goes all the way up from uh, multiple different heights so everything out of the box looks really nice it's a it's a nice sturdy tablet doesn't feel like it's cheaply made or anything like that but of course none of that matters compares to how it actually feels when you're drawing so let's go ahead and connect this up fire up the computer and uh, see how it feels as we're working now, this tablet works very similarly to the last Wacom tablet that I did, the Wacom 1. It's just a secondary display. It's not an all-in-one thing where it's got the computer built inside, but it works as a secondary or even a primary display. Of course, download the driver, which is much more sim simplified. You have a fewer options than you normally do on, on some of the other drawing tablets, but you can still adjust pin pressure uh, and get everything just right set up your, your your buttons and stuff like that now speaking of buttons you you'll notice that the tablet here we're working on the 22 has no buttons on the screen so there's no uh, you know express keys or anything like that that you can use that's a little off-putting at first uh, mostly because you know I use those a lot setting up you know for your undo my brushes and stuff like that but, you know, because it works as a secondary display, so you can still have your keyboard handy and use that for all your different keyboard shortcuts and commands. So it's not as big a deal, uh, especially considering the massive amount of drawing space that you have here. So a quick thing to note as we start to work here is the display itself isn't a touch screen and can only be used with the pen. So if you're accustomed to using touch gestures while drawing, it can be a little bit of an adjustment. Now, on the technical side of things, this second gen 22 tablet boasts a 1920 by 1080 HD screen and looks really sharp. I didn't have any problems seeing the details as I worked, and there are some adjustments you can make just like any other display to the brightness, contrast, and set it up just like you would uh, your regular monitor. Uh, the tablet itself features 8,192 pressure levels. This puts it almost double the levels of comparable Wacom tablets, but it's important to remember that more doesn't always mean better. Pressure sensitivity really boils down to your comfort level with drawing, and the difference between you know 4,000 and 8,000 might not even be noticeable to most people. 
the main problem I encountered here with the XP pen tablet is even with that high level count, I seem to lose uh, some connection when making softer stroke lines. Here, I'll slow it down and show you. See what I mean? So e even with that impressive high sensitivity pressure number, things like this are still going to happen if you're not putting a certain amount of pressure onto it while you're drawing. Uh, it's a relatively minor issue, but it can be quite annoying if you're, you know, in the groove of working. Uh, overall, though, I, I really enjoy the feel of this tablet, and it's pretty fantastic when you're drawing. It feels much like when you're drawing on paper, isn't super slippery or anything like that. The pen fits comfortably in my hand, it's not bulky. And aside from that one stuttering issue we just talked about, I, I haven't really experienced any latency issues while drawing. So the bottom line for XP Pen's Artist 22 series tablet is I like it a lot. Uh, it, you know, I've been using it the last couple weeks on a number of projects, including the ones that I showed here and some other uh, other stuff that I did on the side, just you know, to have fun with it and you know, images on the website, stuff like that. I love the fact that it's super easy to set up. It's really plug and play. I love that it comes with everything included from the pen, the artist glove, display stand itself, all that stuff makes a one neat, tidy, all-in-one package that gives you the most bang for your buck. If you're looking for a great drawing tablet, something that gives you a lot of room to work with, this XP Pen tablet is hard to beat. I can't recommend it enough, especially if you're working on a budget. There's no reason to overlook this brand. If you're looking to purchase one of these tablets, we're going to have some links down in the description below for you on how to get them. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I had a great time drawing and getting some more of my creative stuff out. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and tell all of your friends about it. Until next time, be sure to keep it here on Cinelinks.com for all your movie, gaming, and geek-related needs.